Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we're going to be installing a ECM motor. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. So we got the toggle switch off. Let's begin by taking off the access panel. This was troubleshooted by a different person and we are here to replace the ECM motor. All right, this is it. Okay, so it's a couple screws on top and we can slide this whole housing off. So the control panel is right here begin by freeing this up so we got this control panel just right on the blower section it's not really the greatest thing what I would like to do is possibly just take this whole thing put it safely to the side and just make as much room as we can without having to disconnect so many wires so let's see what we can do to free this up okay Just don't want anything disconnected that doesn't need to be okay so that's that got some other kind of transformer here that up as well okay leave that on the side and now the only thing that's really in our way are the motor wires itself so let's mark those and slide this whole thing out all right so that this doesn't hang off the wires itself I used a tie wrap and supported it by the board just so it's out of my way. Same thing for this transformer, out of my way. And if you look at the white markings, the white tape where you see five, N, C, L, G, I marked my wires and I also took a picture. So now we are safe to begin pulling this motor. We got a couple of screws here. And it looks like we can just slide this whole thing out of, the, out of its sleeve. All right, so I disconnected all my wires from here. The only thing I left on there was the ground. That's no problem. That can be, and we are free. So, let's get this thing out of here. I should be able to just pull this out right now. All right. Here's our motor. Okay, so here's the opposite end of the motor. This piece is our shaft. We're gonna take some sandpaper and sand down the shaft as best as we can before removal. Now that we sand it down, down pretty good. And from here we have that one nut. Once we loosen that, actually that's a bolt. Once we loosen that bolt, that's what's gonna free up this fan blade from the motor shaft. Okay. It's already coming loose, beautiful. So from there, flip this motor around. Take off these four bolts and slide the motor out. Or, what we could actually do is loosen up this right here and slide the motor itself and leave the bracket inside already. I'm gonna try to loosen up just the bracket itself 
See if I can pull this motor out. I'm holding the flashlight for you guys at some point. I might need to hold back, but it seems like it's holding back on its own. So let's loosen up this bracket and pull this motor right out. It's loose. All right. Okay, that's a beautiful thing right there. Beautiful. So here's the old motor. Gotta hurt some sound. Here is the new motor. Make sure everything lines up and it's a perfect match. So what we're gonna do is now take some sandpaper and clean the shaft of the new motor and put it in. Okay, make sure everything spins freely. And we're just gonna reverse the process. Let's slide this in here. And try to line up the shaft into the blade. Okay. Also, you wanna put the motor in a position where you can wire it easily like the other one. All right, so I marked where the bracket sat on the other motor. It's the exact same one, so it's two inches and an eighth. This is two inches and an eighth. And I'm simply just gonna lock this down. Then I'm just gonna adjust the fan blade position and lock it down onto the shaft. So from here, I'm just gonna adjust this blade so I can move, I can shift it from left to right, find the balance point, then lock down that screw onto the flat portion of the shaft. So let's balance this out. Let's see how this feels. Okay, no scratching. So this is a good position. Slow that down. And then carefully match up the flat portion of the shaft with this nut and lock it down as you can see the flat portion of the shaft is lined up with this screw and we're just going to tighten this down all right so we tighten that down let's just double check sounds good to me looks good to me and Everything is tightened up. Okay. Got the motor. All right. Here. Let's just match it up with the bracket. Let's slide it back in. All right. Whew. Put our screws back in and make our connections. Looking good. No vibrations in that position. Here are the wires are disconnected and we could just connect them one by one and basically reverse this process. Okay, I just followed my labels, wired them back just how they were. Now, just gotta put everything else back into its original position. So, let's mount this. Continue. All right, we made the wires a little neater so it's not gonna get caught into the blade, made our, our connections, put everything back as we originally found it. And I kept calling this a transformer because it looks like one, but it's actually a power choke. This is the transformer. All right, that did the trick. Changed the motor, everything is good. 
We have the correct rotation. We made the wires neat. Make sure nothing's gonna be in the way of hitting that fan blade. Then there's specifically a squirrel cage fan blade. And that was pretty much it. We're gonna go pull this pull switch back into the condensing unit and just pretty much check um, the overall operation of this unit. But that is how we're gonna be replacing that ECM motor. Well, ECM, the M starts for motor, but I still say ECM motor. <laughs> if anybody found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you all next time.